wanted to make a gatekeeper, a marker in the city fabric that would become a landmark. We were very desperate to actually create a building that had a quality and an ambition that would rub off on the actual students themselves. This is a super building, this is indeed a world-class building. We're very proud to have this building designed. The overarching brief was to actually create uh, a new community where the, because it was a super campus that was drawing together three different colleges from all over Glasgow. And our brief was to create a new single campus, but a new community for these students. It was very important that the architects understood that it had to work from a classroom level right through to a very specialist workshop, right through to the inspiring open spaces in the Grand Atrium. This beautiful Grand Room was one of the unifying features. It was this that actually draws the whole you know, of the, the college together, around which, you know, everybody orientates themselves. So we've actually got the entrance at the ground floor, breakout spaces, we've got the library, we've got these classrooms, we've got the cafeterias and the office areas for the staff themselves, all grouped around this space so people actually can see it the minute they walk in. It is the front door of this college, and beside that front door where everyone assembles, some 2,000 students, we have a grand window looking out into Glasgow and Glasgow looking out to us. There are very few buildings in Glasgow that properly engage with the Clyde. This location for the Maritime College and School of Engineering was a gift to the project actually, where we could really engage the building with the Clyde and through that with the city. This seven storey building has got an amazing series of classrooms. Some of those are general classrooms where they can study ship's chart work. Some of those are very specialist classrooms where they can actually uh, get hands-on experience in tying knots and disembarking from ships. Some of those are high technology classrooms that are probably five years ahead of industry. They can actually have a simulation of the bridge of a super tanker or an ocean liner. It's an almost identical layout in instruments and in screens to what a ship's captain and chief engineer would see. The facilities link up so you could have us on the simulator as well as having the engine room workshop um, been able to like call down as if you would on a real ship. It's definitely improved the way that the college runs things so rather than keeping everyone like engine side, deck side separate and everyone in their separate classes. You get to see the engineers do their thing uh, and hopefully they get a little bit to see what we do uh, when we do our job as well. Some six floors beneath are actually uh, a large ship's working engine which we actually bought from the industry and it works 24-7. The engineers are trained not only to plan its use but also to repair and maintain the working ship's engine. Well I think it's one of the only colleges with a working engine that we can go in and uh, fix and what well, this engine here we can, we're taking it apart we've only been here for a few weeks so it's really enjoyable. We wanted to create a building that had a civic presence. So we've got an embossed white concrete base of the building to give it a public scale on the Riverside walkway and very simple curtain um, walling bronzed modular facades above that. Now these modular facades were specifically redolent of the 19th century Victorian modular cast iron facades that were created in a lot of buildings within Glasgow. The staff team that worked with the architects and the builders can be truly proud of a cohesive project that actually proves that with a brilliant client and brilliant architects and brilliant builders, you can achieve a unique, iconic and world-class building.